What's going on guys? Welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at Cars 3 Bob Cutlass from the 2019 Florida 500 series. So this is a pretty exciting review for me because this is the first car I'm reviewing from this from the second newest case of 2019. And I say that because the newest case of 2019 was released I think like a week ago, the one with Duke Coulter, St Sterling with Headset, Mo Revlin, and all the other ones. So that is the newest case right now. And the second to newest case contains cars like Kill Motorway, Metallic Nick Stickers, and Cars 3 Bob Cutlass. So this is going to be the first car I'm going to be reviewing from the series. So he's obviously from the 4 to 500 series. We have a nice view of the track here from Cars 3. We have Shan Spokes, Rusty's Cruiser Mirrors, Dynaco Cruiser Mirrors, and Jackson Storm. It's the opening race of the Piston Cup season. Who will take home the championship? Let's go ahead and let's open them up. I gotta say, it's really nice to see Cars 3 Bob Cullis out of the package, especially after his disappearance from Cars 2 and his last appearance, which was Cars 1. So, of course, he was seen in the 4 to 500 commentating with Daryl Cartrip, as always, just like he was doing in cars one so let's go ahead and let's take a look at him so he's got a smiling expression and he's got the nice gray paint job license plate reads r0826e he's got the tail lights he's got the he's got the engine and one addition i really like about him as well is that he's got the rsn sticker on the side racing sports network with the checkered flag next to it it's a really really nice touch and there's also a color variancy as well it's more of a lighter gray than a really dark gray, because that was the Cars 1 Bob Cutlass, but this is one of my favorite things. He does have the same rims, though, which is nice, because I definitely like his rims from the first one. They looked really cool on him. So now let's go ahead and compare the two. So here's how they look together. So there is a really, really big difference in the color, and you can kind of see the difference from Cars 1 to Cars 3 as well. So, I also like how they changed up the expressions a little bit. You can see his smile is a lot wider than the one on Cars 1 Bob Cutlass. He's, you can see a little grin there, but he's smiling a lot wider. And you can see a little bit more of his teeth on Cars 3 Bob Cutlass. So, I think that's really cool. It's just so crazy to see how different they look next to each other as well. And his license plate even changed too, which is weird. It said RSN on the license plate for the Cars 1 version, but then it's just just some random lettering. Like I read before, it's R0826E. I didn't even realize that until just now. But yeah, that's that's really weird. I would think that it'd be the other way around and they'd add RSN to the Cars 3 Bob Cutlass license plate. But yeah, that's really, really strange. I did not expect that. And also, even the license plates are different colors. It's white on Cars 1 and yellow on Cars 3, so, huh, very interesting, didn't realize that until, yeah, just a few seconds ago, and you can see even, even his eye color change, it looks even more green than it does blue, so, that's a little strange, because I don't, I don't think it makes much sense as eye color would change to green, I don't know, maybe it's depending on the lighting, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm just enjoying how much differences there are on the Cars 3 Bob Cutlass and just how accurate it is to how he appeared in the movie. So I think that's really cool. I would prefer him over the Cars 1 Bob Cutlass, but tell me in the comment section below, do you guys prefer the Cars 3 Bob Cutlass or the Cars 1 Bob Cutlass? And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And of course, we have many more cars from this case to review since there's so many brand new ones. And we've also got another case after that that hopefully I might be able to get soon. But I got to get through this whole case because there's a lot of new releases in it. So hope you guys are looking forward to those videos and we'll see you next time.